Have you always lived in Gwinnett County? How long have I lived in Gwinnett County? Yeah, or, or have you always lived in Gwinnett County? Okay, so you're talking about even when I've moved before and after? Yeah. Shoot, 20... Be... 30 years? 30 years. Where did you live prior? Um, Norcross. Um, lived in Duluth and then Lawrenceville as well. On a different address, but... Right. But in the same uh, general area. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. And um, how did your family end up in Lawrenceville? Um, they moved out here in 2000. Um, I was living in Duluth at the time. I moved... They moved here from Norcross. Um, I moved back in with them in 2003 then moved to a different address in Lawrenceville in 2005. Lived there for four years, then back at this address since. What brought your uh, parents here, or, or are they from here? Originally? Oh, no. Um, they, well, I mean, we lived. At, they lived in Norcross. They got a house. I mean, that was the built that house in 79, um, 1979, um, they moved out here, um, we, you know, they were, wanted to change locations and moved, um, moved out here because found a house, like the area. But, uh, they're both Georgia, they're both Georgia natives? Nope, um, dad was originally born in Texas, um, was raised in was raised in Texas moved out here in middle school um, in White County my mom is was born in New York raised in South Florida came here for college at um, North Georgia that's where she actually met my dad so okay. he, went, he went there as well no he just was yep yeah, he he was, um, he was actually dating a girl, and then his buddy was, and they stopped dating. His buddy started dating, you know, the girl, and she had a sorority sister that they met on a blind date. Oh, okay. So. That's awesome. Now here you are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> here I am. And, uh, can you tell me a little bit about the type of home that you live in? Just the structure yeah. area. Ranch style house. Um, three bedrooms, two bath. And are you? Uh, do y'all rent that? Are you a renter? Mm-mm. The, the my my mom owns the house. Your mom owns house. Cool. Have you invested in solar on the rooftop of your home, your property, as part of your business, or as a part of your program through your utility? Mm-mm. No. Um. Tell me why you don't have rooftop solar. Did you make that decision or was it made for you? Um, well, um, I guess I can, I'd have to speak for the, them per se. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't, I just don't think that there's, um, really information available, especially if I haven't really dug in to research it. Yeah. So, I mean, um, yeah, I mean the decision, I guess would be made for me but I think it would just the decision is based out of unavailability per se perceived unavailability yeah do you think that people who do have it have to do a lot of research on on their own rather than like with you know regular power bill you don't have to get informed you just have it mm -hmm. and yeah I would so definitely the people who choose to have it have to yeah. Take it upon themselves. Right? Yeah, I would definitely say that, that they would do the majority of the legwork on that. Yeah. Um, if it were available to you, would you want it? Absolutely. Why? Um, I, I mean, I personally believe in having more of a sustainable energy, um, and that is completely renewable. Um, um, but, um, I mean, yeah, that would be for have a, having a source, 
of sustainable energy, you know, I definitely don't think that with the beliefs I have about environmental issues that I do enough, make any, make enough, make the decisions or the research, you know, to, um, I definitely don't do enough in comparison to my, to my feelings on it, so. Gotcha. So, um, what are your feelings on it? Just. Um, well, I mean, I guess, I guess I'd have to go back to, I guess I'm trying to think what the source of energy would be from our electricity. Um, but, um, I guess environmentally speaking, um, and I guess when it comes to, I guess, powering the home, I wouldn't be getting into hydrocarbons or any of that per se. Um, um, I think it, across the board, conserving, conserving energy, um, and that's a great way to do that because it's, you know, yeah, I would you'd use less if it wasn't sunny, I guess. Yeah. You know. Um, is there any reasons why you wouldn't want it or anything that would keep you from pursuing it? Against? Yeah. Initial costs, I think would be probably the, the big one, mm-hmm. you know, to evaluate that. Um, but, um, but, um, yeah, no, I mean, if, if it was good enough for Jimmy at the White House, it's good enough for me, you know, so. Gotcha. Okay, so next, what we're going to do is I have a map here of the United States. And what I'm going to have you do is you're just based off of what you think and know, circle the areas that you do think utilize the most rooftop solar. And you can circle as many or as few as you'd like. Rooftop solar. God, I've seen so many, just I've seen so many windmills though through here. I don't know if. Oregon, even though it's not super sunny. Minnesota. Southeast. I'll go with that. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe Hawaii. And what was your reasoning behind the uh, states? You I, I mean, I would say the uh, sun availability um, on most of them. Um, some of them also, I would definitely have to say with um, judged perceptions of of that state's politics, mm-hmm. um, you know, being, being, yeah, being, being, being conscious about energy consumption and, you know, sources of energy. Um, yeah. I mean, how I, how I, Why'd you pick- uh, I, I, you know, I, I don't know why actually, I don't <laughs> know why I picked Oklahoma. Honestly, I, um, I don't, I, I, I just had a gut feeling. I don't know about that. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I have an aunt that lives there and I have seen some. Oh, you, you saw know. some out. So yeah. That's yeah. Right. 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 And, the, but there, she kind of lives in a more of a rural area. So, I mean, and she has one, but it literally was because of cost. It just was, you know, to, um, it was ridiculously cheaper I mean but she's that's how she just supplements you know what I mean then they go to the backup grid if you know when it's not available but honestly just because I've seen it yeah does she like it um yeah yeah, no no she does um just the issue with that was just the storms oh okay yeah you know when they get during tornado season and stuff that do they get damaged? Yeah, she's gotten hers damaged twice before, so... Oh, wow. And, um, so what would you say about the communities and the areas you circled? Why do you think they're different from the community that you live in? Um, um, I, I guess once again, just a judged perception on... 
on the on a community consciousness, if you will. Um, I I'm very bitter with Gwinnett County since that transportation bill. So um, yeah, I you know what I mean. I got that was just. I mean, I guess I have seen it change, but it still just seems like the same old Gwinnett County that's just going to be consumer-based, and I don't know. Do you think that that's reflective of the whole state, or even the South, because you didn't circle any th- any? Yeah, yeah, I, honestly, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. What do you think's different about that region than out west with the ones that you circled? Um, gosh, I'm trying to, not trying to, oh, once again, be very, we'll preface that with being very bitter. Um, personal accountability and care for those, for environmental issues. Um, and sure, once again, this is all perceived per se, other than, you know, seeing some in Nevada and seeing some in, you know, in Arizona. Um. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, I just, um... What do you think fosters that? Fosters personal accountability mm-hmm. on environmental issues? Um, I think, I think, um, obviously at, at education, but it, somebody has to want to be educated. Right. Um, so a desire to, um... A desire to be educated on those issues. Um, I think com- community, you know, when you know, it, when your neighbors start doing something, I think it. It's like, oh wow, that's not just, you know, for granola eating hippies or whatever. Right. However you wanna, however you wanna word that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I definitely think that that's contagious. You know, yeah, it's like one per- one yeah. person in the neighborhood gets it. Absolutely, absolutely. Up. Do you have a HOA in this? We do not. You know, that's good. If you ever wanted to get it, you wouldn't have. You wouldn't have to jump through those hoops yeah. of putting one on. Yeah. Your, right. Um, anything else you want to say about this? Oh, I didn't even see these. Yeah. Why'd you pick? I don't even know which states those are. Oh, well, you, that's, uh, that is, what is that, New Hampshire and Vermont. Okay. Politics. 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 Uh, we won't get into the great senator from... <laughs> from. So we're going to do the same thing here, but with a map of Georgia, and you're just going to, again, circle as many or as few areas of Georgia that you think you would have the most rooftop solar on their homes. Okay. This one's a little tougher. Yeah. I I definitely feel like I've seen a lot, but those would be more, those were agriculturally, so you're talking about actual homes. I mean, yeah, I mean, I would definitely say a lot of the farming communities do, so I'll go, I'll just go through here. And say there's a, you know, there's a few in there. I don't know the actual counties. Yeah. Um, butts. Butts. Yeah. <laughs> One of them's got to be butts. One of them's got to be butts county, right? Um, <laughs> let's see. That but that butts counties we're making, isn't it? No. Oh well, this is terrible. I don't know the. There's a ton of counties in Georgia. Um. Yeah, I'll say more through here. Um, I'll actually... I'm going to actually go with Clark. There, I think that'll do. Okay. And so, you circled (laughs) most of the metro Atlanta, but not Gwinnett? Yeah. And why is that? Just, uh, I'm bitter. (laughs) Um, I'll go back to it. I don't... I'll have hope we can change, but... Yeah, once again, bitter. And so, what do you think about particularly here? Fulton. 
Yeah, and not as different from the community in Fulton is different from Gwinnett. How do you, how so? Um, I, I mean, I would, you know what, and I'll give, I'll give Cobb that too. Sure. Um, I, you know, once again, just conscious on, on, um, environmental issues. I mean, I guess even though the channel is right there, but I don't, either way, um, yeah, perceived consciousness on those issues. Um, do you think I, it's like people in Gwinnett are generally like, the demographic is like, I feel like highly, highly educated compared to other parts of Georgia, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I yes. So why do you, where, where is the disconnect between that? Um, I mean, if only 14% of the population is going to vote to actually have real economic development and a transportation bill, I can't see, I can't see them, I can't see people going out of their way for sustainable energy for their home, or renewable energy for their home. I don't, I don't see that. Gotcha. In general, yeah. you know, once again, sorry. No, it's okay. Going back to it, but no, that's... it's all about your opinion. Sure. And how, your perception. Uh, what made you circle Clark? Um, I mean, I know I've seen, I know I've seen a good few out there before. Um, I mean, you got, you got a lot of educated people that stay there, you know, after the fact or, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Cool. And... You circled the, some counties in in South Georgia, and you thought mm -hmm. it was because of yeah, yeah. I mean, I I mean, I know I, I know that I. So many of the, you know. Agricultural rigs I've seen down there have solar panels on them to run them. Um, Do you think people I, put them on their homes as well? I think I mean yeah. I I think once again when it goes back to that perception that I have of, being in more of a quote unquote rural area that the grid itself is more expensive to run because you have less people on it. Right. Um, so it, it's more advantageous. Yes. It comes to where, yeah, when you're only using the grid as a supplement for, you know, when there's not as much sunlight. Yeah. I think that was, I think it, you know, definitely had to do with just the cost of, you know, cost of that, so. And, um, do you have any other comments about the Georgia map? Mm -mm. Do you know, do you have any friends in the state that uh, have solar? I do not right now. I, not that I'm, not that I'm aware of. I do not. And you said so your aunt is in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Do you know anyone else that has it outside of Georgia? Um, yeah, I... My ex-girlfriend's mom had one in Minnesota. Um, um, I've got a friend of mine in California that has a solar panel on top of his house. That's it. And why do you think, as far as your friends in Georgia, why do you think they don't have them? Um, I, would, I mean, I would honestly say it's just a, a perceived lack of availability. When I say that, it just would have to do with, oh, well, that's, that's expensive, or that's... And I guess there is one. There is a solar panel right up Arnold on the oh, house really? up there, but it's one of those high-efficiency high houses that looks like it's kind of underground, like the whole oh, okay. house is kind of like a, I don't know, like a big kind of octagon or whatever. Yeah. But you know what I mean? It's just... Um, was it, did they, do you think, yeah. did they build it? Guaranteed. Was it, um, do you think they installed it later, or do you think that was part I of I think the it house? probably was, I mean, it, I, I think it, it probably was, it, it probably got installed later. I could tell that just the person that built it, obviously built it, had that in mind of right. efficiency of their consumption of energy. Um um, but I think as it became more available, you know, 
Yeah. You know, it's obviously, I'm, I couldn't even tell you what the cost is. I know. It. I don't know either, but it's like, I, I, nobody knows, but everybody knows it's, it's expensive. Or thinks that right, it's expensive. Right, right. That's, so that's what I'm saying is I... It's funny. We don't really know where that comes from. Right, <laughs> right. I've never looked it up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I will, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to do my research, my Google research later on that. Um, what would, what would it take for you to, to get it? Um, I, co- I mean, I would just, honestly, just to break down of costs, you know, um, see, I'm sure there's, I, I'm sure there's companies that lease them. And if you could put in hard numbers, how much you would pay for the lease of that compared to just uh, do the AC. I, if it were to take care of, if it were to just run the AC during this awful sweltering months of summer, I, it would, to me, it would be like worth crazy worth it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I Just for that, because that's going to be the majority of the energy that we'll use during the summertime, because I can't stand the heat. I can't. It drains me, so. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it would just be the knowledge of knowing, you know, exactly, you know, and knowing exactly what that would break down to. And, you know, um, and I think even if you could break even and, you know, you're putting less stress on, you know, on our electrical grid and, you know, even having less dependence on it is, yeah, you know. Shoot, we've had a we've had a couple storms that have knocked the grid out. That it's like, well, buying a generator, you know, like got a generator now, just in case that happens, yeah. you know. Um, but um, yeah, just I, I think it just it it, it it the perception of it being available. And when I say that, it's the <clears throat> perception of it being available. You know, yeah. I'll put I'll put that all on myself for not even going into that, not even looking into those things, into those possibilities of having renewable energy. Well, I mean, it's like you said, your aunt got it because not that she had to, but it would be it a better cost cost effective, right? Right. And being in a rural area, so when you're not. Kind of there's not a to ton of trees yeah. and like there's just there's a lot of sunlight so if it wasn't co- like cost effective if it wasn't something that you ended up saving money would you still want it because it was clean energy um i yeah i mean yeah like you'd be willing but to pay yes a little, more? a little bit more sure yeah. you know it goes down to just the breakdown of it and right. it's like okay can i afford to pay you know and depending on the my current economic situation or whatever, can I afford to pay 50 more bucks? You know what? Sure. You know, I I think it, you know, um, you know, having, having, you know, clean energy is, that's, I mean, it's the, my opinion, the, the issue of our generation. It's, I mean, that's the, all the other ones I feel like come after that, you know, yeah, what's the point if there's no right, right? Let's just <laughs> no earth. right, right, uh, right. Why, why worry about you know having an you know a, a leaving a egalitarian society after I'm here if there's not really much right. you know if we're gonna just have you know climate refugees just leaving those equatorial areas and to where you know. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, uh, and I definitely do, once again, I'll take responsibility for me not investigating that for myself, you know, and I think that that's the easy trap in the suburbs and especially Gwinnett County to get into where, you know, if you don't per se have, you know, in the, the, your neighbors and your surrounding, your surrounding neighbors, if you don't have that per se community, it's easy just to shirk that responsibility is, you know, what's available or 
what's available or not available, and you just right. shut it down if it's not an available option, just so you don't even look into it anymore. So.